Gospel of December the 26, 2015 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking for you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's take a peek of the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freemen, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated and ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. They cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They drew him out of the city and began to stone him. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. All right. Of course, today we are celebrating this Saint Stephen, the first martyr, the first witness of the Lord Jesus. He was a deacon. And what we have read in the Gospel of Matthew of the Lord is happening to him as a first fruit. The Lord had said to his disciples, Beware of men of every man. They will hand you over to have you scourged, be led before governors and kings for my sake. There you will be a witness for them and the pagans. It is very hard even for us to imagine that, even though today there are places such as Iraq and Syria and some places of Africa and Asia where stating that you are a Christian could mean that you end up dead either by the bullets or by the knife of some fanatic that claims to be doing that assassinating a fellow human out of a commandment from God which is an absurdity but what we see, and the Lord is speaking about that too, He's telling us, when they hand you over, don't worry what you are to say. It will be given to you at that moment. For you will not be speaking, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. We can certainly see that in the narrative of the Acts of the Apostles. How Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit. And even when they gathered to argue and debate with him, they could not overcome him because the Holy Spirit was speaking through him. And it was the Holy Spirit also that gave him the power, the courage to stand before the Sanhedrin and even to receive the stones without crying, without agonizing, without wanting to run, but rather in calm and in peace. Certainly was the Holy Spirit that made him look up and see the wonder of heaven open and God and the only Son together, perhaps like waiting for him. Wouldn't it be incredible to have that vision? On this vision's account, 
we believe that all the witnesses, that is all the martyrs, become immediate saints because they are received immediately in heaven. When they are being martyrized, when they are being killed because of their faith, because they, they are asserting, they are confirming their Catholic, the Christian Catholic faith. Does that only ap apply to them? It certainly does not. It applies to all of us that we might become true witnesses to, the, to God without fear and without a limit. God Himself will let us through on all He wants us to be. The crown of the martyrs such as Stephen's. Stephen, by the, by the way, in uh, Greek means crowned. Crowned by this immortal crown of glory for being the first witness of Christ after his death, after Christ's death and resurrection and his ascension to heavens. We too are called to be witnesses. We too are called to hope in that marvelous sight of heaven opened and God and the Christ and the Holy Spirit before us. And it doesn't matter if through our lives, throughout our lives, we never come to a chance to, spare, to spend our lives. But we have to be witnesses each and every day and especially in the small things in the things that seem to be trivial, that seem to be unimportant, because, because it is in the details that the big picture really takes shape, the big picture of our life. So let us pray humbly to our Father that we might be receiving His Holy Spirit anew every day, and that we might be driven by that Spirit, not only to speak His words, but also to live our life as His as He wants it, to live our life according to His will. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.